In this video, you'll see a tutor and learner practice responding to writing, a strategy that encourages more writing and that helps a learner improve their writing over time. Then, we'll see them revise their writing and create second drafts. When responding to writing, ask a writer to read their work out loud. This provides them a chance to catch errors and for you to sidestep reading someone else's handwriting. Always respond positively. Point to something specific that you like in the text and say why you like it. Focus on ideas. Ask a question to find out more and make one suggestion based on a pattern of errors to focus on skills like spelling or sentence structure. Hey, good morning, Antonio. How are you? Good morning. How are you? You're nice to see you. Yeah. How's the family been? Pretty good. Thank you for asking. What about you? It's been pretty good. It's been a little cold outside, though. Yeah. I know. It's the, the weather is so crazy. Yeah. Sometimes it's hot, sometimes it's cool, you know? Well, are you ready to do some learning? Yeah. All right. What do you do to, uh, today? Today? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, today we're going to talk about a strategy for writing. Um, are you familiar with strategy? I don't know what is that word. Strategy? What does that mean? Yeah. Ah, um, let's see. Uh, I think the way to explain strategy, it's it's like a recipe. Mm -hmm. If you were making a cake, yeah, yeah, yeah. a recipe kind of says you start with number one, then you do number two, number three. Oh, like the stem. Yeah. The steps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. And so it's a strategy. A strategy is that something you can use over and over again. And once you learn it, you can apply it for the same types of uh, uh, things. Oh, perfect. How does that sound? It sounds good. Okay. This strategy is called responding to writing. And it's got really two main purposes. Uh, the first one is to help us write more and more. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the second one is to help improve our writing over time. So remember we talked uh, uh, a couple weeks ago about we, we wrote a first draft. And it's not perfect. And it's not the last time we write over that section. We're going to improve it over a period of time. So Antonio, this strategy, again, is something that we're going to use over time. Mm -hmm. If you needed to do something right away, for example, you had to bring a note to work or maybe send something with the children to school tomorrow, we would use a different strategy. Okay. Okay, Antonio, we're going to talk uh, more detail about uh, responding to writing the strategy. Mm -hmm. So uh, you are going to read what you've written, mm -hmm. and I'm going to carefully listen, and I'm going to point specifically to something that I like in your writing, and we're going to talk about that and why I really like that. Okay. And then the next step is I'm going to listen and then ask some questions to clarify or find out more about your story. These are the first three steps. There's another step that we'll talk about more in detail, um, where I'm going to look at uh, what you've written and make a suggestion. Maybe it's on a word or a grammar, something like that. Are you ready to put the strategy into place? Absolutely, yes. Okay, great. What I'd like you to do is pick out one of your writings. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do the same thing, and then we're going to read it to each other. Okay, perfect. Yes. On this strategy, the first step is for, uh, for you to read it to me. So would you like to bring it closer? Mm, yeah, why okay. not? Okay, and now uh, from the top, why don't you mm -hmm. read it to me? Okay, perfect. Yeah. An important choice I made in my life was when my first baby came to the world. I really so happy because she's so beautiful. And now she's a, a girl, super smart, and I'm very proud about her. She has everything she has is my life. Wow, that's really powerful. Yeah, right? Thank you for sharing yeah, that. I love me. you, my girl. Would you... Read that one more time for me. Absolutely. I really want to hear that. Yes, sure, sure. Okay. An important choice in my in my life was when my first baby came to the world. I really so happy because she's so beautiful, and now she's a girl super smart and very proud about her. She has everything. She is my life. Wow! Thank you for sharing that. Thank you. And now I'm going to point to something I really like. Mm -hmm. uh, here, where you say. She is everything in my life. I really relate to that. When my daughter was placed in my arms and I held her for that first time, my life completely changed. And uh, it was just this emotional 
moment for me. And uh, yeah, she became everything in my life at that point. Yeah, because you know the first baby, when you, you first baby is calm, yeah. uh, is, I don't know, it's like a magic moment. Yeah, uh, it is a magic moment. Yeah, it's it a magic moment. Yeah. yeah. And now she's, uh, she's so smart. You grace in the, in the medium school is, is amazing. Yeah. It's like only A and B. Yeah. You know, <laughs> my skin is like, I, yeah. have, I feel uh, so happy about her. Uh, she want to go, when they grow up, she want to go to doctor. Yeah. Uh, I'm very happy for that. That's awesome. Thank you again for sharing your story. It's really amazing. Uh, could I ask you a couple of questions? Absolutely, yes. All right. So when you said uh, she came into the world and you were so happy, had you waited a long time to have children? Did it take you a long time or did it happen pretty quickly for you? It's grueslly because it's, uh, and my wife's pregnant really quickly, mm. but uh, we had a lot of problems, uh, a lot of uh, times in the, in the hospital, you know. Mm. I think it's for that. Is for is for the love for my girl. So Antonio, uh, how old is she today? How old is she now? Right now is twelve years old. Oh, yeah, uh, almost a teenager. Yeah, it's like you know, like uh, problem age. Mm. You know, because it's, it's like it's not too little. It's not too yeah. Uh, grow up. But it's I've been up there right now, but it's difficult for me because I want to do a uh, great education for, for her mm, and for my boy too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's so hard at this age, but I, I work it hard. I'm going to write down some questions so that we can maybe add to the story. Yeah, totally. Your I noticed you underlined a couple of words. Uh, let's take a look at those. Mm -hmm. uh, so the first one, uh, here's how we correctly spell that. And then this word you actually had correct. Okay, as I read the story, listen carefully and find something that you really like and maybe a question or two about the story where you want to learn more. Okay, you perfect. Go okay. ahead. Great. All right, so now I'll read the story. Mm -hmm. uh, an important choice I made in my life when I, uh, was when I moved to California after college. Uh, it was so far away from family and friends, I wasn't sure if I would like it. Uh, but after the first winter, uh, I just knew this was the place for me. So let, uh, uh, how about I read that one more time? An important choice I made in my life was when I moved uh, to California after college. Uh, it was so far away from family and friends, I really wasn't sure if I would like it. But after the first winter, I just knew this was a place for me. Yeah, yours is some interesting. I really, I really like this point right here uh, because you uh, reading the California is a, was the place for you. Is yeah. correct? Uh, yeah. Because where are you from? Chicago. Chicago. Where the winters oh. can be really cold. Yeah. yeah. You like more the weather right here in California? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Definitely. Okay. Uh, uh, what, co and what college are you going to the, in California? Uh, it was Golden Gate University. Is it in Los Angeles or something? No, that's in San Francisco. How old are uh, you when the, you moved to huh. California? About 25. 25? Yeah. Oh. yeah. Okay, Antonio, would you write, like to write down the question? Yeah, let me yeah. do that question about the youth story, George. Okay. So now, Antonio, I'm going to give you your questions so you can write more. Mm -hmm. And remember, uh, and I'm going to take your my questions. Okay, perfect. And remember, we can choose to decide to add more or not. Okay, thank you, George. Okay.
now that we have these questions and the additional material, we can choose to add that to our writing. You get to decide if you want to do that or not, and if we add it to our second draft. All right, so uh, today we uh, talked about a multi-step strategy responding to writing. And remember, a strategy is like a recipe, which is multi-steps to help us respond to more writing, to, to add more to our writing. Um, how did that work for you? Does it make sense? Did, do you think it helped you? I like it, the process because, you know, uh, it's practice, like reading practice, uh, you know, uh, uh, you mark the more important thing in the, in the read, in the read. When they read, uh, I want to know uh, something that you like, you know, the mm -hmm. most important you like. Yeah. And, and you know the, the most important in my life. I like that. Mm -hmm. But it's so interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, I like the process. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay, Antonio. Now that we've answered these questions, we get to decide if we're going to take that information and put it into your draft. I'm going to look at my story. How about if I read my story mm -hmm. and then my questions? So, uh, an important choice I made in my life uh, was when I moved to California uh, after college. Uh, I was so far away from family and friends, I wasn't sure if I would like it. But after the first winter, I just knew this was the place for me. So that's my story. Um, and then uh, the question you asked me was, uh, where are you from? And I answered Chicago. Mm -hmm. And then how old was I when I moved to California? So uh, I like both of those questions and I think somebody who reads this would want to know that. So where are you from? Um, so I think where this belongs is, I say I moved to California after college. I, I'm not sure, but I think I'm gonna put somewhere here is uh, grew up in Chicago. And how old was I? And I think I should add, uh, how old I was uh, right about there at the same place. Okay. Um, I'm not feeling perfect about that, but the great news is we can move this at any time. So let's take a look at your first question uh, that I asked was, how old is she now? So do you think you want to put that into your story here? Yeah, absolutely. Why okay. not? Sure. So um, with this pencil, why mm -hmm. don't you look, read through your story and you can read it out loud to me. And let's figure out where do you think we would add that first question. No. So why don't you read that for me? Mm, let me try in something uh, about this question over here. Yeah, wh why don't you reread what we have? It's pretty short. So why don't mm. you read this again? I'll read, okay. Yeah, yeah. An important choice in my, uh, in my life was when my first baby came to the world. I'm really so happy because she's uh, so beautiful. And now she's a, a girl super smart, and a very, I'm very proud about that, her. She was as everything. She has everything. She says my life. Okay, mm -hmm. that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Now, where do we want? Where do you think would be a good place to put in? How old is she now? I think this one, right there. Mm -hmm. I'll read what you have. She is a, a girl super smart, and do you want to put? And she is now 12 years old. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so why don't you just, yeah, just try like, draw an arrow and... Right here? Yeah, mm -hmm. and then just, just write Jeez. that in. Jeez. Okay, now remember, you're the author, so you get to decide this. If later on you think it should belong, you know, that part should belong here, you can move that at any time. Okay, yours. Okay. thank you. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Now, let's take a look at this next question. Can you read that for me? Can you yeah, read my sure. handwriting? Yeah, totally. <laughs> did you wait a long time? Yeah. How long did you the wait? The app store is like, no, yeah. no waiting for a long time. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, that's a piece of information. Do you want to put that in your story? Or do you want to leave that out? Leave what it do you out. think? Leave it out? Mm -hmm. Okay. You're the author. So. All right, great. Mm -hmm. Now what we're going to do is we've added in this additional uh, material that answers those questions. Okay? So okay. we're just going to rewrite and add in. Okay, perfect. Great. So somewhere here I have some new sheets. And I'm going to do this along with you. And we're going to write in their second draft. 
So now we're going to rewrite this. So I'm going to rewrite my part. You're going mm -hmm. to rewrite okay. yours. And you're going to, when you get to this part... Uh, I can when, add the cheese uh, to your salt. Piece, right? Yeah, cheese. Okay. Kind of salt. So, what we've done is we've made a second draft and we've added on to our story. So we have additional information uh, based on the questions that, uh, that we asked. I know one of the things you want to work on is punctuation. So why don't we start with uh, one of my sentences and we'll take it from there. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm going to read it out loud. An important choice I made in my life was when I moved from Chicago to California when I was 25 years old. So then I stopped and I paused and that was the end of a, a, a thought. And then I'm going to introduce a new thought now. Okay. Um, it was so far away from family and friends. I wasn't sure if I would like it. Period. So then I end that thought. Now I'm starting another one. Uh, I wasn't sure if I would like it, um, uh, but after the first winter, I just knew this was a place for me, period. period. So those are the, the kind of the natural stopping points, and that's where I insert the, uh, the, the period. Let's do it with yours, okay? Okay. I'll read let, the let first. Me, let me try. Oh, great. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, the, the important choice in my, in my life is when, was when my first baby came to the world. I really so happy because I don't know what is the period. Ah, well, you, you I heard you pause mm -hmm. right there. Why don't you put the period in there and then read it and stop and then read it out loud? So go ahead and put the period there in the world right, right? there. Mm -hmm. Let's just try it. It's mm -hmm. in pencil so we can yeah, erase yeah, yeah. it. So now read that and then just stop at the end of that period. Okay, mm -hmm. so read it out loud. This is the, the first period. Yeah, let, and the, let's let's see how it sounds to you. So now read that again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, my first w and an important choice in my in my life was was when my first baby come to the world. This does is that does that sound like a good stopping point? I think you? yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now I want you to do is read, and if you hear you s yourself stopping, stop and put a, pen a a period there. Okay. okay so perfect. let's do the next part. Mm -hmm. I really so happy because she is so beautiful. I think sounds like beautiful. I think so too. Right, Let's go right. put it in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, keep going. And now she's a, a girl, super smart. Oh, and I noticed you have a period in there. Awesome. Good, Good job. Okay. okay. She's uh, 12 years old right now. I'm very proud about her. She has everything. I'm going to stop you. I okay. heard you stop. Mm -hmm. So let's put a period there. It, it sounded like you paused there. That sounded natural to me. How about let's make sure we put a big period there. Okay. Okay. She has is everything. She is my life. Okay. Now I heard uh, she is everything. She is my life. Do you think that's one thought or two thoughts? I think two. Two. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and put a period there. Is the final right here, right? Yeah. Now, could I have you read that one more time? And every time you see a period, pause about a second or two. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Ready to go. One more time. An important choice in my in May in my life was when my first baby came to the world. I really so happy because she is so beautiful. And now she is a girl super smart. She is uh, 12 years old. I'm very uh, proud about her. She has everything. She is my life. Beautiful. Final. That's very awesome. Okay. And it's very powerful when you stop like that. I really like that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Stuart. Thank yeah. you for that. I really like the way this is looking now. And I think where these, these periods are, are very important, maybe even dramatic. Um, when you stopped and said, she is so beautiful, and you paused, that, uh, that really hit me hard. And when you said she's super smart, uh, and then she is everything. She is my life. 
those pauses really it set in and it, and it hit me emotionally. So I think it takes ordinary writing and just makes it a little extraordinary. And I, I think when you read it out loud, if you listen to your inner voice, you're going to be able to hear where it makes sense. Yeah, I know because uh, you know the Spanish and English is too difficult for me mm. because uh, sometimes uh, one word is uh, is pronunciation that are, like different. Sure, you know, it's sure. different yeah. Uh, yeah. space for for the yeah. for the word. I don't know, mm. but uh, thank you for for showing me what is the the right. wrong in my reading. Yeah. That really helps uh, bring the level of your writing up. So now uh, to kind of summarize. Uh, we've added, we made a second draft, we've added to your story, and we concentrated on one thing. We, we added some punctuation. We didn't try to finish everything, right? Um, grammar and spelling and so forth. Uh, and we, we, we took a look at one error pattern that comes up with you, and that is the punctuation. So, uh, so this process, how did it work for you? How does it feel? Can you apply this in your in your... Um, life going forward in your work. Yeah, the process. I like it. The process is yeah. really interesting uh, because uh, you told me what is the uh, uh, the read the paraphrase and what is the appearance mm -hmm. uh, is so interesting. Mm -hmm. All tutoring that you give me is all interesting, <laughs> but this one is uh, so interesting for me. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you so much for that. Oh man, yeah, my pleasure. Yeah, uh, it, I like your story. Mm -hmm. uh, I really interesting. Great. And that's it. Sure. Great. I use it in, in my in the future. Uh, you know, uh, uh, I want to show for my kids when they yeah. I help you for the homework. Please, you please know? show it. Share yeah, that with yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, It's so interesting. It. As you were writing, I was also writing. Did you find that part helpful? And if so, why? Yeah, uh, I think this is really good for me because. You know, I'm working together. I mm -hmm. like it that. Yeah. They usually, when the, the teacher is learning, uh, teach uh, the the student, mm -hmm. the teacher is uh, the other uh, way. You know, it's all, always is is see the <laughs> what are you what are you reading, what are you yeah. the, what do you read. Okay. Uh, this this moment, uh, I like it. I I'm comfortable because are you working with me together? Okay. So the same the same question, the same uh, the same sentences. Uh, I like it. We're at a good stopping point now. Uh, what do you want to do with this as we move forward? So like next week, do you want to add on to this or do you want to move on to something else? What, what, do you, what are your yeah, thoughts? I think this is really good uh, uh, process. I like it uh, for the next week. I so work, you want to work yeah, on this I want to work in the next week for uh, like the same process okay. because uh, you help me about... Uh, you know, uh, I sometimes I I, mm -hmm. I help on my kids in the in the homework. Sure, this is perfect for me. Okay, great. So next week we'll take it from here and we'll add on to that. Sounds good. These sound good. Thank All you right. so much. Uh, thank you. I look forward to it. <laughs> Have a you. great week. You too. Thank you. Thank you. You've just seen a tutor and learner practice responding to writing by asking a writer to read their own work pointing to something specific you like about the writing and saying why you like it. Asking a question to find out more or to clarify something. Making one suggestion based on a pattern of errors. Responding to writing in this way will encourage your learner to write more and improve their skills over time.